Hey, <laughs> how the devil are you? Ooh, right. Okay, by wiring. Is it worth it? Is it worth the hassle? Meh, I don't know. Um, I've got my uh, speakers set up on my proper hi-fi system, a single wired. They are capable of by wiring, uh, but I've got them set up a single wire. So I often wondered, is it worth by wiring them? Some people say yes, yeah, some people say no, nah, it's not a point. So I wanted to find out for myself. Um, so what I'm going to do today is by wire them and then test them uh, with single wire and with by wire. So first of all, let's get them by wired. Okay, so on the back of the speaker, you've got the by wiring. So this, this single wired at the moment, uh, minus and plus here. So this is the low frequency, uh, minus low frequency plus. If you're single wiring them, that's what you do. Now to buy wire them, all you do, you run a cable from the same speaker cable, which I'll show you uh, in a second from the amplifier. And you put the minus in here and the plus in there. And you take off these plates. Okay, I'm not sure if it's the same on all speakers, but on Wharfdales, these plates need to come off. And what you do then is put the minus up here. Like so. And then the plus in here. Now, as you, as you noticed, I'm using banana cake, banana connectors here, a normal wire in there, and you see why when I get onto the back of the amplifier. So on the back of the amplifier, what I've done, I've put obviously the plus in here and the minus in there in the back and screwed them on. And now you're gonna need banana plugs to put these in here. Now, when I had this Cambridge Audio, so if you're from Europe, you may suffer with this if you've got an older amp. Uh, these were capped, so I had to take the caps out. <laughs> Uh, so I enabled me to get the banana plugs in. I just find banana plugs just a lot easier than messing them around with the wires. So banana plugs go in the back here, and then you've got the, uh, the minus and the plus uh, just go in there at the back. And that's it, all set up for bio-wearing. I've already done the other side, uh, so both left and right speakers are all set up. Okay, so they buy wired to the max. Uh, now let's see, uh, do a side-by-side -side comparison playing the same song, one by wired, one single wired, and see if you can tell any discernible difference. What do you think? Uh, for me personally, I couldn't really tell any difference. If anything, uh, I would say the single wiring sounded better. However, I am 54 years old, so my uh, higher frequency range hearing isn't as good as someone younger. So if there's someone a bit younger than me can hear a difference, please let me know in the comment section. But for me, I think by wiring uh, is a waste of time. It's just cost you more in speak cable. Uh, doesn't, it didn't make any discernible difference in the sound to me, um, personally. Uh, so there we are. I found out for myself that for me, personally, there's no point in bio wiring. It doesn't make any difference at all for me. Maybe by amping might be different. Uh, my other amp uh, can do that, so maybe I'll do that in the future. I'll leave that for another video. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. And if you liked the video and thought, ah, he's not as bad as some of them other videos on YouTube, give this video a like. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.